Well hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail and where we are this evening is we're near Portadown we're outside Finney Couch Presbyterian Church and I want to talk to you about a minister who is called Gilbert Tennant who done a great work in America during what's known as the Great Awakening but uh, before I do I want to talk to you about another minister and that's the Reverend Alexander Bruce but what I'm going to do first is I want to read a stone here out to you and then I'm going to talk about these two ministers and their connection with the Finney Couch Presbyterian Church here which is just outside Portadown and it's this one here. It says, erected to the memory of David Love of Timakil, who departed this life 17th of March, 1862, which is St. Paddy's Day, and he was aged 77 years. So just to put that in perspective, uh, this church has a big connection with America. And of course, in 1862, the American Civil War was in full swing. And it says also, Eleanor Love, wife of Robert Love, who died 5th of April 1882, aged 64 years. Also, William Love, son of Robert Love, who died 6th of November 1899, aged 44 years. Also, Robert Love, son of David Love, who died 14th of August 1901, aged 84 years. And also, Mary Ann Love, wife of David Love, who died March 12th, 1920, aged 73 years. And also, the latter, David Love, who died 28th of January, and that's 1921, aged 78 years. So very interesting. Now, the Reverend Alexander Bruce was born before the 13th of June, 1637, in Scotland. And he was the son of Robert Bruce and Agnes Murray. Now, he married Margaret Cleland in 1677, on the 17th of April at Edinburgh Parish Church, Midlothian in Scotland. And they had six children. Now, he was educated at Edinburgh University. And after serving in various churches in Scotland and Ireland, he became the minister here of Finney Couch Presbyterian Church. Now, obviously this building here was not built then because it's got a later date. So this must have obviously replaced an earlier church, but it says Finney Couch, Presbyterian Church, 1879. So this building here dates from 1879. And it's great to see the grass cut because it makes my job so much easier. Now, the Reverend Bruce died in Finney Couch, as I say, which is near Portadown, in 1704. And he's buried in Kirkard Old Church in Scotland. And there's a tree I want to show you. Which is over in the corner here. And it says, to commemorate the Platinum Jubilee of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, 1952 to 2022, Finney Couch Presbyterian Church. And that's the tree. Now, the Reverend Gilbert Tennant, he was born on the 5th of February, 1703, and he died on the 23rd of July, 17. 64. Now, he was a Presbyterian revivalist minister in colonial America. And he's regarded as being undoubtedly the single most important Presbyterian minister in North America before the war for independence. And he was actually born in Finney Couch in County Armagh. And he was baptised in Finney Couch Presbyterian Church on the 6th of February 1703 and he was converted to Christ in 1723 
And this is a memorial hall here, which is named after the Reverend Gilbert Tennant, as you can see. The Gilbert Tennant Hall, and it says there, Finney Cash Presbyterian Church Hall, 2029. So I'll let you see in. So it's great to have this hall in memory of this minister. There's a couple of wee plaques up there. I'm not sure if you can see them or not. It's Mr. James, I think that's Wesley, I'm not sure, dedicated to the glory of God in by, sorry, the Right Reverend just hard to make out, June. And it's 1979. I think it's the 16th of June. Now, in 1740, Gilbert Tennant joined the well-known English revivalist, George Whitfield. And they went on a preaching tour in New England and what became known as part of the Great Awakening. How you doing? And the Great Awakening refers to a number of periods of heaven sent revivals in American church history. Now Gilbert Tennant died on the 23rd of July 1764 in Pennsylvania and he's buried in Abington Presbyterian Church Cemetery in Pennsylvania. Now I will be ministering here in Finney Couch Presbyterian Church this Sunday morning the 6th of August 2023 at 11am and the address if you're interested in attending is 5 Battle Hill Road Craig Avon and it's just outside Portadown and so there's one more thing that I want to show you before we wrap this wee video up, and I see a gentleman here who could maybe tell me a wee bit of the history of this shade if he knows it. But I'm going to show you the sign first. And as you can see, it says Dilly Shade. And this shade was donated to Finney Couch Presbyterian Youth Club by Thomas Dilly 2017. So I have a wee question for you if you can answer it for me. Who was Thomas Dilly? Thomas Dilly's two sons come to the youth club. We had a youth club here. Yes. And there was 105 and 110 nearly every week. That's fantastic. And um, we had no shade to store stuff in, so Thomas, he donated the shade for us to put the stuff in for the youth. Brilliant. He must have cared about the youth. He did. Obviously. He, he, he was very, he's a very, very good man. Like, he'd come here every Friday night, you know. He even stood and listened to the talk. We had a wee talk, fantastic. you know, a wee talk. Mm -hmm. And then a cup of tea and a bit of toast and one thing and all. Brilliant. And he was very interested. And say, how many were you getting here? About 105 to 110. That, that's crazy, especially for a country uh, church. Uh, and then that's when incredible. And then it all sort of faded out. Uh -huh. And then you see the YM there, take them away now. The YMCA? And then there's an yes. old youth club down here, they take them away. And yes. And what's your first name, sir? I'm Henry Bowles. Henry Bowles. Thanks very much, Henry. Oh, and uh, you're, you're, what you've just done is given an interview to the Church History Trail. Oh, right, right. So thanks very much <laughs> and God right, bless. Right, right. So there you go, folks. Thank you very much. No worries, thank you. Now, that's the history of uh, Finney Couch. Presbyterian Church and again if you're free on Sunday morning uh, why don't you join us here uh, it would be great to have you so thanks for watching and God bless